Hi guys, this is John, and on this video, this is something a little bit different. Um, I saw something on Facebook that I really liked and I wanted to do with my own podcast and my own business, uh, just a way to do something fun with social media marketing. So here's what I did. I uh, Tony Robbins has these videos that it's really just an audio clip with a slate. Uh, this is the slate, and what here's the, the video. Of leader in my mind, the most simple definition is a leader. So when you play the video, you just hear the audio clip, and this one's only 12 seconds long, and you have a slate, and then there's some call to actions here and some information. So I wanted to take this kind of thing and make one myself. So I want to show you how I did that. First of all, I used the grab tool for Mac, and I was able able to actually just grab this. Um, let me show you exactly what it looks like. Oh, hang on. Let me minimize that. All you do is you grab this, you take the selector and you grab this whole thing. And now you have the size that you want. Okay. It's close. Anyway, close enough. So then I'm going to uh, hit command C to copy because I want to copy this image. And I'm using, instead of Photoshop, I'm using something called Pixelmator. So what happens when you use Pixelmator, since I already started the process, I'm actually backing up and I'm gonna show you from scratch. Um, I am selecting from clipboard, I wanna make this a high resolution photo, so I'm gonna make it 600 pixels per inch, okay? And it made this, uh, this is called Pixelmator, it's in the App Store. It's like Photoshop, only less expensive. It's like 20 bucks. So now, since that was what, since I copied from Grab, copied that image, it made a canvas that's exactly that size. So now if I hit Command V and paste that image in there, you'll see it fits in there perfectly, okay? So that's what I did. So I already started this process, so just pretend that when I delete this, that this is what you saw right here. This is where I started the process, okay? Now, I wanna find something that's kinda like these headphones, so I'm gonna go over to Google, do a headphone icon search. Yes, okay, I'm gonna copy this image because I like the one, I like the way that one works. There's a couple others that I could have chosen from, but I like this one, okay? So then I'm gonna go back to Pixelmator, I'm gonna paste that in, and there it is. And now I want to get rid of all this other stuff. I did create this background layer already, and the way I did that is I used this uh, gradient tool and I started down here somewhere and created something like that. Actually, I did it less of that kind of a crazy angle. Maybe I did it straight on. Let's do it straight on. Yeah, okay, I like that. Now I'm gonna put that in there. Now I'm gonna use my magic eraser to get rid of all the green. Whoops, gotta select the right layer first. And so now I have this beautiful little white headphone. Okay, now to make it a little bit more interesting, uh, let's see what that one looks like. Yeah, so it's got this white circle, shows up more of an icon. So I'm gonna create the same kind of thing. I'm gonna take my circle tool and I'm going to move around this. That looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna come up here. Uh, you know what, before I do that, actually, I'm gonna create a new layer so I don't ruin my headphones. Now I'm going to fill this with white. Okay, that's done. Deselect. Now I'm going to move my headphone layer up. I can kind of see the outline of my headphones. So I'm going to use the paint can and I'm going to select from a color that looks pretty close to this gradient. Oops. And then I'm going to drag until it's completely filled in. So now if I compare it, Pretty good looking, it's not bad. Uh, actually, I'm quite happy with that. I might shrink it a little bit. So let's uh, let's shrink that down. And now that's placed well. Now I'm gonna shrink this down as well. And move it over. And I'm kinda eyeballing these things for now. Not really using any rulers or anything, but to me, that looks pretty darn good. Now I wanna add a shadow. So I'm gonna to go to styles and I've got a shadow for my circle. And now I'm gonna add a shadow. Ooh, I don't like that shadow. You know what? I want it to look like that's a cutout. So I'm gonna use an inner shadow and I'm going to make it dark. 
And see, now it looks like there's a hole in my circle. And the angle's off. If I go to this layer and I look at my angle, the angle is 270. You can see right here. So if I go to this layer, which is my headphones, my angle should be 270. And now they look like they're matched up. Okay? So that's just the start of this. Let's see what else there is. No problem. Okay, now we need to add some text. So I need to figure out what I want mine to say. So mine's going to say, I'm going to use a recent podcast episode. We're going to say, oh, that's kind of big. Let's do Disney Parks News. And it's still kind of big, and I don't like the font. I'm going to go with the Arial font. And I'm going to shrink it down a wee bit more. Okay. And I may even throw my logo in here just for fun. So what I'm going to do is while I play around with a couple of ideas, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Okay, so I've done a little bit of work. I didn't want you to have to sit through all that while I experimented with different fonts and colors and everything else. But here's what I did. I added my logo up here just to brand my video slate. The font that I chose for the Disney Parks News looks much like a news font. And then I used, uh, what font was this? I forget. Uh, Avenir Next for the rest of these fonts. And I colored the click to listen link, uh, the click to listen, the call to action in green. So it would stand out a little bit. And green also gives it that like uh, permission kind of subconsciously, you know, like green light, red light. Green light means it's go, go ahead. You can click this to listen to it. Here's how you do it. The rest of this should be eye catchy enough. It's just going to determine whether or not my headline is big enough, but I think mine actually looks better than Tony Robbins. So we'll see. I am about to create a video with this and put it on Facebook, but I wanted to show you at least a smart way to make your video slates. And most importantly, creating this icon. I thought that was just kind of a cool thing to be able to do. And it really didn't need to be too difficult a task. I definitely wanted to show you some ways that you could create your own looking icon. Okay. Thanks a lot for joining me. See you in the next video. Thank you.